This is me after therapy. Fridays are self-care days. And this Friday, as has been every other Friday for I don't know how long, was a therapy day. I am feeling a little wrung out. Um, I've been crying for an hour, so I'm gonna drink some water, take care of myself a little bit instead of going out and doing things right away. Um, but I'm also feeling light, like I let go of some load that I've been holding on to for the past few weeks. I like that my therapy appointments are on the day that I have reserved for self-care because therapy is definitely a huge part of my personal self-care and it has single-handedly moved the needle more than anything else that I do in my CPTSD recovery. I make my therapy appointments for early in the morning so then I have the whole day afterwards to kind of process and recover and take care of myself knowing that the work, the hard work, is done. So now I think I'm going to like do all of the stereotypical self-care things. I'm gonna put a mask on my face, I'm gonna drink a lot of water, I'm going to paint my toenails, and then I'm gonna decide what to do with the rest of my day. So when I sat down and thought about what I wanted to do with my self-care day today, what I really wanted to do most was to just continue editing the video that I'm working on, but I decided to do it in a nice to myself way. So I came to my favorite coffee shop and I'm gonna go inside, get myself a cappuccino and work. I just had a great editing session at Republic of Pi and since I'm in my own neighborhood and I walked to Republic of Pi, I'm also walking to the grocery store on my way home because walking's good for you and I love to run my errands on foot, especially on self-care day. Before I get too far from Republic of Pi, I want to say that I just started this new Substack newsletter. This new tender, precious bit of creativity. And well, you can join for free at any point and get one monthly email from me. I set the subscription fee to get more regular emails at exactly the price of a cappuccino at Republic of Pi. So if you decide to support me in that way, that's what you're paying for. You're paying for that place and those moments. You're basically spotting me a cappuccino a month. I was just walking down the street here and a woman walking the other direction as she came by looked at me and said, I was just admiring how beautiful you are. Half of my therapy session this morning was about how I, I don't feel beautiful. I don't feel pretty. I needed that today. To the woman who said that, should you ever find this, should you ever watch it and remember making that comment, you have no idea 
how your spur of the moment decision to say that to a stranger impacted her day. Thank you. I am going to grab some ingredients for katsudan for dinner and then I think I might go home and take a nap. Um, a lot of times I need a nap on therapy days and honestly that's a totally cool and valid way to spend a self-care afternoon. I made it back home. I got some mirin and some pork. Couldn't find any dashi but I will make do and I'm all ready for dinner tonight. It's not a difficult thing to cook so that means that the rest of my afternoon is free to do whatever I want. And what I want is to take a nap and read my book. So that's what I'm going to do. But before I go, I do want to tell you my three good things for the week. So this week, my first good thing, unexpectedly, is that woman that I ran into while I was out walking. What an amazing thing to be willing to say to a stranger. My second good thing this week is that we finally caught up on Ted Lasso. Um, it's a show that my husband and I like and our son does not so well. He was out of town. We took the opportunity to binge what we had left of the season. I love that show. It makes me happy. It gives me a warm, cozy feeling. And it was awesome to watch a whole bunch of it at once this week. And my third good thing, which I showed you a little of earlier, was my new bracelet. It says Alice Ulat Propris, which happens to be the state motto of Oregon, but it also translates from Latin to she flies with her own wings. And I love having that statement on me all the time because it's a reminder that I am in charge of my own destiny and I am capable of flying on my own. It's perfectly okay if other people are flying along with me, but I don't want to forget that I have my own wings. I guess that's it for today. Until next time, I am wishing you love and joy and all those good things because you deserve to be happy. And I can't wait to talk to you again. Dude.